Every endeavor in life requires preparation and planning, especially when a decision affects or changes our way of life. And in this case, the experience of the Church is not an exception. During today's Mass, in the first reading, we find the sense of preparation and planning. Jesus prepared his disciples for the great endeavor of sharing the good news. For three long years, according to the scriptures, he was continuously able to present, explain, and encourage them towards the, that goal. The starting point, of course, Jerusalem, the center of the Christian movement. But from this center, Christianity radiated to, to other cities and towns in Palestine and beyond. We can disagree or not in terms of what parts of the Gospel are historical events and what parts are part of the collective memory of the early Christian communities that received such messages at an early stage. This is a debate for theologians and historians, but the important aspect for us is to understand that this message entrusted to the people of Israel as the people of God will become a universal message for all without distinction. The idea of such a universality of the good news pervades the mission and ori an origin of the Church itself. From its Jewish roots, this new way of life opens the possibility to the so-called pagans or Gentiles to participate actively in God's kingdom, not by inheritance, but in their own right granted by God's love and compassion, by God's plan of salvation. Yes, the journey has not been exempt of mistakes, terrible ones, but recognizing our own weakness will allow us to be open more and more to trust in the guidance of the Spirit. This leads us to understand that we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Jesus' command entrusted from the Father took them to vent together in a new community. These disciples became the first church in Jerusalem from an upper room in a house to the whole world. There it was that they believed themselves to be receiving His promised gift of the Holy Spirit and of the new power affirming that Jesus' life and example should be followed and that his teachings about love and fellowship should be the basis of human relationships. As we found in the second reading today, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed to bring you to full knowledge of him. May they enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope his call holds to for you, what rich glories he has promised, the saints will inherit, and how infinitely great is the power that he has exercised for us believers.